here we go I'm right on top now of Nether Stowey Castle <sighs> reminds me a bit of Brent Knoll up here with all the humps and bumps where the rooms would have been I'm going to wander over there looks like there's a bit of a dip there with some stone <sighs> I'm just trying to get my bearings to know where Bridgewater would be I can't it's not totally clear so I know where I am over that way with steep home sticking out Hinkley Point Bridgewater Bay going all the way round Bridgewater will be somewhere over there I think I might even be able to see St John's Church or that could be Cannington if it's that far away <laughs> it's all worth it though everybody I'm on top of Nether Stowey Castle a thousand years ago or just under a thousand years ago this would have been a very important place to defend whoever you were going to defend from and it would have been a lot more rural as well the question is what they were fighting over a few cows there weren't many people <laughs> fighting over the land you can see the church down there St Mary's I'm just going to have a little wander around now around the path whatever path I can find just walking around, walking around the castle. I want to go to, um, there's another little village in a minute called Doddington, and then there's Holford, and then I'm going to make my way back a flatter way, flatter. So I want to get off that horrible road, to be quite honest. It's going to be a nightmare once a school comes out. There's something cross there. Perhaps they put the Jesus cross up here. Easter cross goes in these places. Look. They haven't got a trig point up here. Now I wanted to get over there, didn't I? There's a dip there, you see. But you've got to look out for the sting in it, us. And then somebody said there's a giant lives here somebody some old wives tell that um, especially on bad weather days you've got to be look out for the giant that lives un under this hill there is a story somewhere um, about the giant Unfortunately, it's not too wet, but there's a bit of a dip here. I thought I ought to come and see it. There's some brickwork. There's a little bit of brickwork there. See? So that's the remains of some sort of reinforcement in this hole here. Would have been a room, a store. And this might be about the only bits that are left. It could have been even built by other people once. There is a great big stone down there I can see. Not a lot for souvenirs, I must admit. Yeah, a little bit of brickwork there. I mean, it could have been used for sheep, putting sheep in, anything. A little house could have been used here in later centuries. It might not be Norman, this bit. But you've got to be careful. It looks all a bit dippy around here. I'm actually walking around the edge of rooms, I think. You have to look out for snakes as well. Oh, and lots of ants' nests I can see as well. I'll have to be very careful. I might even have got myself stuck. Let's see if I can get over this bit here. Wait a minute. Someone else has done this. You can see where they've... The grass has been flattened. There we go. I'm back up again now. Back up on the hill. Just checking my legs for ants and ticks. So... Another one of Sheila's adventures out in the beautiful countryside and you can see a lot of it from here, this part of Somerset anyway. You can see a lot of it right over there. 
I can see the wall at Burnham on Sea. I live miles away, right over there. And the sky is looking bluer. A little bit more videoing to do in a minute down in Lime Street where Samuel Coleridge once lived. Right, let's just get back up on the top one more time. <sighs> the only trouble with me cycling around these ways, you see, it's very hilly. Very hilly. I might not get to Holford yet. I'm going to see how it goes. I'll put it by here. I've got to try and get down that hill now without breaking my neck. But I might go down. There's a, there was a slope, actually. Rather than try going down there, there was a little pathway. Just checking it's still on. I'm going to turn it off in a second because I'm just going to get up to this pathway again and turn down into where possibly a moat would have been. They would have filled it with water, part of the defence. See, down here. They would have had the big main keep on the top there to look out. And you can see everything. You can see everyone who's coming here. I'm just following this little track now. Hopefully it'll take me down to the bottom more safely than going down the slidey hill. Lots of ferns. Snakes and ticks love this sort of area. But there might not be any if there's no deer. Yeah, there we go. I've got back down without having to climb the big hill. And then, of course, you could walk actually inside the mot there. All around me is history. My Norman ancestors touch even Somerset, see? Barons that came over with my barons' families, the de Clares and the Stutvilles, who mainly went, well, the de Clares went to Suffolk and southeast. The Sutville started off up north, Northumberland, Cumbria. Gradually worked their way down. I'll just go back up here to the board, which I've taken a picture of. You are standing by the ditch of a medieval motte and bailey castle built in the early 12th century by Alfred of Spain. The lord of the manor of Stowey lived here with his family and servants. On the highest point of the castle mound, you can see the foundations of the keep, the stronghold of the castle. From here, you can also see the two enclosures, upper and lower baileys, where the hall, chapel and other buildings once stood. By about 1450, the castle was abandoned and Stowey Court at the far end of Nether Stowey became the Lord's home. There we go. And I'll be going... I've come up somewhere, I, don't know, I think I came up there. I'll be going down and then round again in a minute. <sighs> 